Martin is a nuclear energy specialist with the Dubai Initiative and Harvard University. He joins us now from Oxford in the United Kingdom. So, so what do these latest pronouncements, indeed these latest nuclear developments in Tehran, tell us about the country's nuclear program? Uh, yes. Well, actually, uh, the Iranian nuclear program, this, what, what has been announced today is actually an incremental step. Uh, it's not necessarily a breakthrough, and I don't think we should uh, necessarily become unduly concerned about it. One thing that we have to keep in perspective is that the Iranian uh, nuclear program has been ongoing for about a quarter century, so roughly about 25 years or so. And as of yet, uh, Iran is roughly about halfway to weaponizing its program. But if we compare that to other nuclear programs in the world, World, let's say in the Soviet for, in the former Soviet Union, uh, the former Soviet Union was able to develop a nuclear uh, a, a working operational uh, nuclear bomb in about uh, five years or so. And we must recall that this was after the chaos of World War II, where about 25 million people were dead and about 26 million were homeless. And if we look at China, for instance, China was able to create a nuclear bomb in about eight years, and this was during the chaos of the Great Leap Forward. So if we put it into perspective, the Iranian nuclear program. Uh, is actually has been plagued by inefficiency, is quite slow and quite brittle. So the step today is obviously an improvement over what has occurred before, but at the same time, it's uh, just an incremental step and it doesn't necessarily represent any breakthrough. But as you say, this nuclear program has been going on for 25 years. It was actually started under uh, the tenure of the Shah. Iran says it is not interested in building a nuclear weapon. It says this is strictly for civilian use. How does Iran then prove the negative? Should the burden of proof if there is any military intent be on the IAEA and its inspectors who in fact were in Iran just a few weeks ago? Well, yes. I mean, that all depends on your perspective, of course. And the thing is, uh, what we have is we have Iranian uh, movements that look to be extremely uh, suspicious, uh, such as uh, relocating uh, uh, some of their facilities to the underground uh, uh, bunker uh, at Ferdo. And then also, Iran has not necessarily been entirely forthcoming. But on the other hand, uh, if you look at uh, some of the statements that have been made by uh, Western countries and uh, the European Union, the U.S. and so on, and also Israel, which is has been a bit uh, aggressive and threatening, then from the Iranian perspective, you could see that some of their actions have been perhaps in response to that. So in terms of the burden of proof, well, yes, the Iranians do need to be a bit more forthcoming and a bit more explicit as to exactly what their nuclear uh, program is about, the Iranian enrichment program, to be uh, more exact, but, is but about, say, but uh, at me, the let same me just time... Say that you mentioned suspicions, and you're quite right. I mean, many countries have suspicions over whether or not this uh, nuclear program is intended for military use but there isn't that binding proof is there there isn't that smoking gun despite the fact that many Western and other military uh, intelligence agencies have been hard at work to try and find that smoking gun uh, and would you would you agree that under the NPT Iran has the right to enrich uranium in so much that it isn't in contravention of any of its safeguards well, I mean, that is correct. There is no smoking gun, quote, unquote. And the Iranians have said repeatedly that uh, they want to develop their nuclear program for peaceful, uh, for peaceful electricity and power generation. And uh, if you do look at the Iranian power sector, the Iranian power sector is in extreme need of uh, developing some type of alternative energy source because they have problems in their natural gas sector, and in particular in allocating uh, power throughout uh, their economy. So there is a need for it, and the Iranians have not said that they are going to create uh, a nuclear weapons program. Uh, but at the same time, yes, there is suspicion based on the fact that Iran has been a bit uh, overly active within the region, uh, historically, particularly after the Iranian revolution, in terms of uh, attempting to spread revolution and what have you. Uh, so uh, the Iranians don't necessarily have any smoking gun, as you have indicated. But at the same time, the international community is obviously a bit uh, concerned, and justifiably so, uh, just simply because of uh, some some of the statements that Iran has made in the past and some of its uh, movements uh, forward. But no, Iran is not in active contravention of any international treaties at the moment. It's just that its actions look uh, increasingly suspicious. And then also, if you look at uh, Iran's uh, somewhat um, militant uh, stance so over the past, and then that is why the international community thinks that Iran ultimately wants to weaponize this program.